Yo, 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 man, it's your boy Kato Media, and yes, I am back with another one. Now, on today's discussion, man, we're talking about that boy Lil Baby, and we're talking about Gunna. Now, I want to know y'all honest feedback. How do you feel about this whole situation, man? Now, Lil Baby dropped a snippet video. I don't know if he purposely did it, but somebody was recording him in the studio. Um, A lot of people think it's a diss towards Gunna. I want to break down that actual video to see if this was actually a diss or not. Now, from what I heard, I don't think that's a direct jab at Gunna. I mean, it's a possibility that he could be dissing Gunna on that album. Allegedly, he has an album on the way. I don't know. They say he cooking. he's cooking up. I want to know from you guys, do you think he has the possibility not the possibility, but do you think he has the capability to surpass Gunna in the stage that he's in right now? A lot of people thought Gunna was going to be done for, like the snitching allegations or what you've seen. A lot of people are saying that it's snitching. It's not allegedly. This is, you know, this is snitching. But you know, you have Young Thug Father coming out and saying that Lil Baby needs to mind his business. But we're gonna dive all into that, man. I wanna play this snippet video for y'all. I want to get y'all y'all honest feedback. How do you feel? Do you feel like this is a diss towards Gunna? Um and the only reason I say that I, I don't think it's a diss towards Gunna because I, I thought, if I'm not mistaken, Lil Baby said Gunna used to help him with his raps. But we're gonna go to that video real quick so you can actually hear this snippet now from what i heard it, it sound good so i want to break it down to y'all so y'all can you know tell me what you think so let's get to it let me pull this up real quick So he said, real ones on my body. You know what I'm saying? And he said, if you feeling him, he said, you a fuck boy. If you feeling him, then it's fuck you too. You know what I mean? Like basically saying like anybody riding with, let's say if he, he is talking about Gunna. He's saying anybody that ride, riding with that, you think that's cool, then it's F you too. Um, he also goes on to say that, you niggas copy everything that I do. Now, a lot of people say that Ghana and Lil Baby has a lot of, they have a lot of similarities, man. But if Ghana helped Lil Baby write his raps, I can see why it's like that same cadence, that same type of flow. So a lot of people will say like, oh, that, you know, they jacking each other's style. Now, this is if they didn't know each other. That's what they would say. But being that they came up and they were somewhat cool, you know, that's what you get. Um, he also said that nobody really knew you until you came around me. You're, you're something like my little boy. Um, and I can't really say that because, you know, Ghana had a name. I think Baby and Ghana was like neck and neck, but Baby kind of took off. And now you're looking at Ghana right now. I honestly think, and this is my honest opinion, man. I feel like Ghana, you know, just snitching in front of the whole world because people are saying that these are not snitching allegations this is real i think that actually helped boost his career even more and people that were not tuned in wanted to know like all right who is this guy gonna and they started tuning into his music even more not only that you know for him to take off and the music you know selling out shows is like oh man like what's really going on and that just shows you like that whole snitching thing that street code thing is just dead to me but how do y'all feel about that snippet video how do you feel do you feel like that's a shot at gunner or do you feel like he's just talking at random you know what i mean it's a, in my opinion i don't feel like it's a shot at gunner i just don't really feel like it. it's not a lot of directness in there for me you know he started off saying that other boy that other boy that other boy i don't know what was the verse before he said that so i can't even say like all right that's that's what it was but i will say you have young thug's father that spoke out and he said basically you know little baby needs to shut up i haven't seen him at any 
court dates or anything like that and i'm going to speak on that but let me play the video real quick so y'all can get the inside of that hold on real quick how do you feel about little baby throwing shots at gunna for his plea deal for his plea he need to shut the because he don't know what's going on you know he's He's going off of what he what he heard. Ask him, ask little baby, have you ever came to a court date? Oh, okay. See, that's that's what I want y'all to ask these goddamn rappers and these bloggers with this old sneak. All right, so I want to speak on that that whole situation, right? So if I'm not mistaken or not, man, I could be wrong, but I think on the Rico list, I think little baby 4pf was actually mentioned on that list him showing up to court is damn near like him incriminating incriminating himself right because they want to know okay what ties do you have to ysl because ysl is already a gang you know what i mean it's already people already been saying it. it's already been documented as a gang so what relation do you have to this game they're not looking at it like oh you know oh this is just little baby you know what type of relation do you have with the you know what i mean they know they kind of figure like hey this is beyond this we know we've been doing our research you're not playing with any rookies like we already know we want y'all to stroll into the courtroom so we can go ahead and press you and we can be on your heels about the whole thing so i think that would just bring more light to little baby if he did that now i know thug father is speaking from a place of like hey this is my father i'm seeing that people that was around him every other day and now it's gotten to the point where where these niggas are non-existent i know he's speaking from a, a place of emotion but a logical place would be like yo these n niggas are felons these niggas have a record they don't even want to step foot in the courtroom that's how they looking at the whole situation um but i mean he's entitled to feel how he feel now a lot of people are saying that you know what if this thing plays out let's say if they free uh thug or you know he doesn't get the time that people are expecting him to get and he pretty much clears the air like you know gonna did what he was supposed to do are are people going to really forgive gunner are people going to look at him and like you know what i apologize i don't think that's going to happen because you have so many street niggas out here saying that hey i don't care which way it go that nigga is still a snitch in my eyes he's a rat you know what i mean so and my thing is you have other people on there i think it was like 15 other people that took a plea you know if i'm not mistaken i could be wrong i don't know the exact number but i think it was like 15 others that took a plea as well probably the same thing that gonna did but it's like gonna was caught on camera and i feel like whoever recorded gonna this is my opinion and i've been thinking about that ever since that day happened i feel like whoever recorded gonna really set this man up that's that's my opinion it, it's just so weird to me that you had there were there were no recordings of no other ysl member on video that i've seen that that's went as viral as the yes ma'am with gonna you know what i mean so that just raised that eyebrow with me is this a way to divide the camp you know whoever did that was that a way for them to divide the ysl to be like hey we about to put the pressure on these boys let me show you how these boys are really not down for you not down for you at all but um i want to get y'all feedback on this whole situation man it's your boy kato media man tell me how you feel do you feel like little baby took a shot at gunna and that that record that he's cooking up um i mean it, it sounded pretty good you know I, I don't know i would have to hear the whole track my thing is i get overplayed out with artists like if i hear it you know the same type of cadence and everything all the time it's like man it just sounds like a regular you know but i guess maybe this is what the rap industry needs man they little they need a little spice here and there man as, as long as it doesn't turn into you know something deadly now i will say man when gonna spoke out and i really feel like it was um i feel like it was a diss record on the bread and butter but that's that's my opinion i feel like it was a diss when he said, you know, how can you still hang with a nigga that got your partner whack? It's just, 
subliminals is just a little bit too like it's hard for me to look and be like all right no nah, he wasn't talking about baby but then it was just a little bit too close to home like who were you talking about you know what i'm saying like and then of course gunner's gonna come out and deny that it was a shot towards baby like i mean who's gonna come out and really incriminate themselves like that that's all the reason to make music so of course he's gonna say hey no nah, that wasn't a shot towards baby but man we'll see you in the near future man make sure y'all like subscribe tell me how you feel about this whole situation man it's your boy kato media and like that i am out